Well, good morning, Academy family. The happiest and most blessed summer months to you and your family. I pray that you are enjoying rest and reset and reformation of the soul this summer as you chase uh, your kiddos. Um, I wanted to come to you because of the exciting news that we have, that we wish to offer about the Academy Build for the Future campaign. Um, many of you remember, in February, we launched a brand new capital campaign for all three campuses. And we have some totals for you. Um, we have some updates for you on the future, and then a final plug, because I'm always plugging something, right? Um, a. Those three months that you remember, you saw the campaign on Facebook, on Instagram, you heard from us via video, we were able to raise $1.2 million through 200 different donors, most of whom were first-time donors. And these included, for the first time ever, a huge and new number of our grandparents because of our grandparents' days, where we got to invite, we, to re-invite our grandparents to campus after those long months of shelter in place without them. So that is God's grace in our midst, and I'm here to say thank you and God bless you for giving so sacrificially in the course of that campaign. Uh, and I can't wait to tell you what that will accomplish for us. But furthermore, while we're on our numbers update, you probably remember uh, that in late April, early May, we had an anonymous donor step forward and say, see how much in 30 days you can button up in a final full court press for your capital campaign. And we'll match it all. And I'm here to say that $235,000 came inside of 30 days. Some of the most um, surprising and astonishing and ennobling gifts came in at that time. People giving very, very sacrificially to help us cross a $235,000 finish line inside of 30 days. So thank you, Academy family, once again. That is God's good and precious grace in our midst as well. And it's once again because of God's faithful, faithful people. So thank you. All of that is for these 800 plus, I, the number keeps going up, I don't even know what the number is, it's over 800 precious students, which puts us uh, easily in the top 10 largest classical and Christian schools in uh, the nation. So thank you. That is a big, 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 big deal. Um, because it's for the souls and the care of children that would do any of this. So, from here, where are we headed? Well, let's, let me give you an update now on some of the actual capital improvements, and let's start with South Campus. South Campus, I think the first week of September-ish, you will have delivered to you with a ribbon-cutting ceremony and all of the, the pomp and circumstance and prayers, uh, your brand new dialectic middle school classrooms, and along with that, or soon after that, some of the playground equipment. B. Midtown campus, we will be handed the keys to your brand new campus December 1st. We'll spend the three or four weeks after that making sure furniture is in place and whiteboards are hung and everything is perfect. And then you Midtown students and families will be welcomed into your brand new world-class campus for your J-term classes. We could not be more excited about your J-term classes, by the way. And all of that, like South Campus, will be delivered to us debt-free because of those capital campaign fundraising numbers that I mentioned earlier. That is a big, 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 big deal. And we're grateful to Almighty God for giving us that kind of success inside of 18 months in the course of a pandemic. That is a big deal. So thank you, families, once again. And then C, North Campus update. So North Campus, the one campus that we fully own is a twofer campus. There, there are classrooms that we're building for North Campus Middle School dialectic students, but they're connected to our varsity competition gym, which is for the entirety of the district, for all of our varsity athletics and, co and competitive games 
on those Friday nights that we all are excited to participate in. So that combination has, um, that is funded for release of project. I'm still gonna be asking you in the future for a few more fundraising dollars for specific projects related to that gymnasium. But we will get there. The dirt, we believe, will start moving um, if permitting goes well here in the next week. Either last week of July, first week of August, North Campus parents, bear with me. Car line this year is gonna be a bit messy, but it's for the full delivery of, the, of those classrooms and that performance gym for the 2022-2023 school year. So those are exciting updates. Please hang with us. Uh, if you know of anyone else who might want to pledge to this final push in the campaign, campaign, uh, let me know. We would, we would love to make them a part of our Giving Society family and keep them updated on uh, these uh, exciting projects. Thank you again for your commitment at cultivating uh, the spirit of inquiry and the life of the mind and the full cultivation of the affections in these children for all that is true, for all that is good, and for all that is beautiful. God bless you. We'll see you in the coming school year.